May 3rd. On the 3rd of this month we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Timothy and Mora. Saint Timothy came from a village near Thebes in Egypt. He was ordained reader, and through the reading of the lives of the saints during church services, he confirmed the Christians in their hope of good things to come. When Diocletian's first edicts against the Christians were published, only twenty days after his marriage to the devout Mora, Timothy was denounced as an ardent preacher of the new religion and taken before Arian, the prefect of Thebes, who called on him to hand over the service books. But the saint refused, saying, as a father could not possibly willingly give his children over to death. In the same way, I would rather die than give over these books to be burnt, by which the faithful and I myself receive the grace of God and the protection of his angels. Beside himself with fury, Arian had red-hot spikes thrust into his ears, piercing the eardrum, and gouged out his eyes. They then tied him to a nail-covered wheel that flayed his skin, but Timothy was healed by the grace of God and held out against other tortures, crying out that nothing could separate him from the love of Christ. The tyrant then had him thrown in prison and summoned Mora with the hope of using her to overcome Timothy's resistance. He tried at first through flattery to induce her to bring her husband to reason so that she would not lose him after only twenty days of marriage. After a short talk with Timothy, Mora left the prison filled with a holy ardor and confessed to the prefect that she also was a Christian and was ready to give her life for Christ. Arian had her hair shorn, and after having had her fingers cut off, she was thrown into boiling water. She, however, remained untouched and said to the magistrate, Your fire is a poor one. If you haven't got enough wood, send servants to my parents and they will give you some. Arian went up to her, wanting to verify that the water was hot enough. Moros threw some of it at him, and yelling with pain, the prefect saw the skin of his hand peeling off with the scalding. He then ordered that the saint be burnt with torches, primed with pitch and sulphur, but Mora still remained untouched and mocked the powerlessness of her persecutors. Arian then ordered that the couple be tied to crosses facing each other and left to die slowly. They remained thus crucified in imitation of our Lord Jesus for nine whole days, sustaining each other in patience. Filled with rage at the spectacle of the victory of Christ, who dwelt within them through faith, the devil took human form and gave Mora a cup of milk mixed with honey in order to refresh her, but the saint repulsed him through her prayer. He then carried her in imagination to a land of delights with a river of milk flowing nearby. She armed herself with a holy anger in order to reject once again these deceptive advances, and declared that she preferred to drink of the cup of eternal life that Christ presented to her on the cross. As soon as the demon departed, an angel of the Lord appeared, took Mora by the hand, and leading her in a vision to heaven, showed her a resplendent throne on which there lay a brightly shining robe and a golden crown. And he said to her, It is for you that these things are prepared. He then took her to a still higher place, where there was another throne, another white robe and another crown, and added, These are prepared for your husband, as it was he who was the cause of your salvation. Come to herself once more, Mora told Timothy of this revelation, and it was with joy that they together confided their souls into God's keeping on the tenth day. Devout Christians bought their bodies with silver and buried them with honor, giving thanks to God for having glorified his holy martyrs. Many healings were later wrought, not only over their relics, but also for the faithful who venerated their icon, or who called on the names of the holy spouses. Blessed is our God, always known for the birth of the ages of nature. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things. 
treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. To Timothy, let us faithful render homage today, together with Mora, his fellow contestant and wife, that most faithful bride of Christ. Lauding their brave steadfastness for by crucifixion, they followed with longing in the steps of their Master, who nailed the sins of all to the cross when he was slain for us. Traversing the deep on foot as though it were dry land, and seeing the tyrant fair drowned, Israel cried aloud, Let us chant unto God a hymn of victory. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Let us, the sacred people, sacredly honor the sacred and august festival of the sacred prize winners, that by their supplications we may be delivered from evil. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Showing diligence to obtain sacred crowns of victory from Christ, the courageous martyrs truly chose to die rather than to live for which they have attained to glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O prize winning martyrs, not fearing the suffering of the flesh, and unafraid of torments or persecutors' fire, you courageously proclaimed Christ in the stadium. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Word transcended in essence, received an essence from thy pure blood, and deified us, and rescued us from corruption, O pure one. For this cause we ever glorify thee with faith. There is none holy as thee, O Lord my God, who hast uplifted the horn of thy faithful, and established us on the rock of the confession of thee, O good one. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Sacredly opening the books of God before the people, and enlightening their hearts, O Timothy, soldier of Christ, Thou went forth to holy martyrdom rejoicing. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Set a flame with God-given longing in thy soul, O blessed martyr. Thou underwent the fire of the torments with endurance, therefore the divine dew of Christ refreshed thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thy mind was made to shine by its aspiration towards God, O martyr, it in no wise felt the terrible touch of the iron rods which had been heated in the fire, O glorious Timothy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy Son, who by nature is passionless, assumed flesh from thy pure blood, and by his passion on the cross, O Immaculate Virgin, he has delivered me from the passions. Wise Timothy and glorious Mora, by honoring the true God, drove away all the darkness of error. And since these all glorious saints for all torments with fortitude, they are made to shine above the sun's rays for splendor. 
and they are become the fellow servants of angels. With faith let us honor them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, guide us all in the way of repentance, whoever turn aside to the byways of evil, provoking to righteous wrath the Lord God who is more than good. O most blessed Mary, who didn't never know wedlock, refuge where unto despairing men flee for succor, and dwelling place of our God. Christ is my power, my God, and my Lord. The honored church sings, crying out in godly manner with a pure mind, keeping festival in the Lord. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Having longed for the greatest glory, you are deemed worthy thereof, becoming children of divine light, O great martyrs of Christ and peers of the angels. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Since thou was numbered with the ranks of the saints and had ears ready to hearken to the divine laws, O glorious Timothy, Thou didst steadfastly endure the piercing. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. They who are of a vain mind, raise thee up on a tree and tie the rock to thy neck, O glorious Timothy. But Christ strengthen thee who was being magnified by divine suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Abhorring the inconstant course of fleeting things, O blessed Timothy, and more, are you surrendered yourselves to sufferings, inheriting through them the good things that abide unto the ages. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, tabernacle of purity, habitation of the Master of all, resounding of all the prophets, temple graced of God, take pity on them that praise thee. With thy divine light, illumine the souls of those who with love rise at dawn unto thee, O good one that they may know thee, who a word of God, to be the true God, who calls all forth from the darkness of sin. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thou didst graciously hearken to thy husband's light like words, O more a blessed of God, and casting off gloomy malice, thou became the light through martyrdom. Holy martyrs, pray to God for Clad us. Clad with the breastplate of the divine spirit, O venerable Mora, thou joyously went forth to wrestle with the adversary. And didst defeat him, and didst receive the crowns of victory, O martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The modest Mora confesses thee, the one Lord Jesus, who didst form man with thy hand, and her fingers are cut off as she manfully endures and just punishment. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Still the sudden storm of thoughts, the uprisings of passions, and the billowing of temptations, O virgin grace of God, and save me, O him, thy mighty deeds. Beholding the sea of life rising with the tempest of temptations, I flee to thy calm haven, and I cry unto thee, Raise my life up out of corruption, O most merciful one. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Spiritually furnished with the sail of the cross, the holy martyrs passed through the sea of temptations and hurt and came to rest in divine heaven. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The impious cast thee into a boiling cauldron for confessing Christ. Yet thou didst remain without harm, since thou hadst found the dew of the Spirit to refresh thee, O Mora. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When tortured, you courageously destroyed all the tortures of the foe, all reverend martyrs, and you bound your souls to the love of Christ in perfection, when you put off the flood. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all good lady who didst conceive the all good God in the flesh, make my heart good, afflicted as it is with the evil of the passions, 
that with faith and longing I may magnify thee. Since you endure through diverse woundings and tortures, and have received from God the garlands of victory, rise up in intercession with the Lord for us, who with longing celebrate this your sacred memorial, O great martyr Timothy and most glorious Mara, that he grant peace to all his church and flock, for he is truly the strength of all faithful folk. The angel caused the furnace to pour forth dew upon the pious youths, and the command of God which consumed the Chaldeans prevailed upon the tyrant to cry out, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Thou burned on all sides with torches, O all celebrated more, thou felt it not, since thou had the love of Christ in thy heart, while crying out to him in song, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Having cast off the slumber of evil from thine eyelids, O Timothy, thou didst endure the blinding of thine eyes, Beholding Christ with the eyes of thy heart and singing, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the divine martyrs who disdain things here below and have inherited the dwelling on high, let them be honored with sacred songs as they cry out unceasingly with us, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O supremely praised Virgin who gave birth to the supremely praised God, show them that praise thee to be partakers of light, and by thine entreaties rescue them from Gehenna and the flame and all harm of the enemy. From the flame didst thou pour forth dew upon the venerable ones, and didst consume the sacrifice of the righteous ones, with water. For thou, O Christ, as to all things soever thou desirest, thee do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. In keeping the law of the ruler of all, you did not bow down to the rule of the transgressors. You did not offer worship to the wicked demons, O noble martyrs, heirs of the Lord. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. Truly, O together in a noble union, together you took upon your necks the very light yoke of the Lord, O martyrs, and you are joined to the companies of the martyrs. Holy martyrs, pray to God for when us. When you were stretched out upon the wood of the cross for many days, O all famed Timothy and Mora, you portray the august passion of him that suffered of his own will, whom we supremely exalt unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. You truly endured the most violent death attended with sufferings of saints, wherefore you have been translated to a life that is without suffering, wherein you praise Christ unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art become beautiful, O Virgin, in giving birth to Christ the Lord, who is exceedingly comely in beauty, who makes the faithful bride with splendor, him do we supremely exalt unto all the ages. It is not possible for man to see God, upon whom the orders of angels dare not gaze. But through thee, O all pure one, the incarnate word appeared unto mortals. As we magnify him together with the heavenly hosts, we call thee blessed. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. You have been deemed worthy to see the glory of him who emptied himself because of his mercy, O all famed Timothy and Mora. For you kept his laws and became communicants of his sufferings. Wherefore, as we come together, we piously honor you. Holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The measure of days and nights that you spent nailed to the tree was equal to the hours Christ spent upon the cross in his compassion. O oh, wise martyrs, and when you had confessed him to be the master of all, 
Into his hands you committed your spirit. O holy martyrs, pray to God for us. The army of angels and the blessed choir of prophets, martyrs, apostles, and righteous clapped their hands at your ascent, and the master of all crowned you with the crown of victory, O martyrs, since he is transcendently good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O wise and most noble prize winners of Christ, ask that loosing of sins, correction of life, and deliverance from all adversities be granted to us, who honor and celebrate your august festival with longing. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, who among women art most graced of God, illuminate me with thy light, I pray, and deliver me from eternal fire, that I may magnify thee, that I may glorify thee, that I may praise thy mighty deeds as is due. To Timothy, let us faithful render homage today, together with Mora, his fellow contestant and wife, that most faithful bride of Christ, lauding their brave steadfastness for by crucifixion, they followed with longing in the steps of their master, who nailed the sins of all to the cross, when he was slain for us. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, Donan, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and of our community. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Timothy and Mora of Egypt, with the prayers of the holy martyrs, Diodor, and Rhodopianus, the deacon of Aphrodisia in Asia Minor, with the prayers of our righteous father Peter, the wonderworker, bishop of Argos, with the prayers of the holy twenty-seven martyrs who were perfected in martyrdom by fire, with the prayers of the holy glorious great martyr Xenia, the wonderworker of Calami in the Penepolesus, with the prayers of our holy father Ecumenius, the wonderworker, bishop of Trica, with the prayers of our Holy Father, Luke of Mount Styrion in Greece, the recovery of whose holy relics we celebrate this day. With the prayers of the Holy New Martyr Ahmed, the calligrapher of Constantinople. With the prayers of our Father among the saints Mamas, Catholicos of Georgia. With the prayers of our righteous fathers Michael and Arsenius of Georgia. With the prayers of our righteous father Theodosius, abbot of the Caves Monastery in Kiev and founder of Canobitic Life in Russia, with the prayers of St. Conleth of Kildar, St. Athelwyn of Lindsay, St. Philip of Zell, St. Scannell and St. Fumach, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.